I am giving the cool non-planar sweep award to Alibre because I've been able to generate these organic sweep paths without the need of 3D sketching. So let's talk about how we do this if you are a professional or expert user. From the new part menu, we'll grab the XY plane and begin a sketch. And we'll grab a line, I'll double click it. We'll grab a line, I'll double click it. And then we'll grab a spline here. It'll make kind of a fun spline profile. And then I'll come back around here and close it off by making my final line right down the Y axis. We'll give this a height of, let's say, 15. And we'll make kind of a cool eccentric profile around here. Uh, we can continue to uh, f define our sketch. Of course, being fully defined is the best best practice uh, for the interest of time I'll leave my profile the way it is and then we'll revolve around our y-axis to make this cool kind of vase like shape after that we'll jump into the surface tab and we're going to delete the top and the bottom faces and that leaves us with an infinitely thin surface of course this is not a solid and this is merely a reference to get what we want uh, we never use surfaces as our end product but rather as something that uh, works as a good reference for what we're going towards it's a means to an end the same way that we use sketches so grab my xy plane we'll start a sketch i'll make a rectangle whose inner point is more close to the y-axis than the innermost point of our surface and whose outer corner is further out than any uh, part of our surface. We'll dimension this so that this will be about 0.375 away from our y-axis. We'll go maybe 0.25 up. Maybe make this 0.25 tall. And we'll give this 8 yeah, that looks good. We'll deactivate the sketch. We'll go with a uh, helix here. We'll give this a height. Let's try 14.5 and we'll give this a pitch. Let's go with a pitch of about 28. So you go roughly halfway around. And I like the way that looks, so we'll accept that. Let's do the same thing that we did before. We'll head over to the Surface tab. We'll go with uh, Delete Face. I'll select my top face, my outer face, this starting and ending face here, and this small inner, inner face as well. And we'll delete that so we have one single helical surface going up our vase-like structure. You'll notice that our surface is contained within this vase structure, both at the top and at the bottom. Next, we'll trim. And I'll uh, select my vase-like structure and my helical surface. And then we'll remove my vase-like structure. And how about the inner part of this surface? We'll say OK here. And we're left with just this one section of surface that has that vase-like shape uh, cut out of it. Let's start a plane that we want to be normal to the end of our edge, the end of our inner edge here. And we'll do that by going to Model and selecting Plane. And with our edge highlighted, we have a plane that is normal to that edge. And of course, if I am uh, dissatisfied with that, I can always select the other end if I prefer, but I'm happy with this, so we'll say apply. I'll select this plane and create a sketch, and you'll see that the origin of the sketch is actually the end of the edge that we're working with. So all I need to do is put a circle on it. We'll create a uh, dimension for that, and maybe I'll go with 0.5 diameter on that circle, and we'll deactivate. 
I'll select Sweep. And for my path object, I simply select the inner edge of my surface. We'll say OK to that. And because we're all done with that surface, I can delete this face and not have to worry about my surface any longer. We'll go to uh, Model, Circular Pattern. We'll select our Swept Feature to Pattern. And uh, we'll select our Y axis as the center. And that is how I can create a fun trophy or lamp base like uh, feature to, uh, to work with here. So we'll say OK on that. And this looks like the base of a lamp, so maybe I'll just finish this off as a lamp. So there you have it. Uh, we have a generic lamp that if you're ever traveling in a Marriott and you see a lamp like this, it is undoubtedly because we did this research here today. So thank you for watching, whether you were making a lamp, a trophy, or something like this. Hopefully this will add another tool in your sweeping tool belt. Uh, please subscribe to the Libre channel and I'll see you in the next video.